Uh, how many times have you tried and failed to stop smoking? Now, a brand new way to give up has been launched, which claims a 70 to 90% success rate, depending on how many treatments you have. We tried it out on heavy smoker, loaded writer Martin Pashley, who's been trying and failing to stop for three years. Would it work for him? I've been smoking for 17 years, and uh, I smoke 20 to 30 a day. But, you know, if I'm out on a night out, it's going up to about 50. I have a beaker here that's going to act as an ashtray. I have my last cigarette and I'm to smoke it three quarters of the way down. So, Savita, I've got this pretty disgusting pot of my phlegm and an old cigarette. Now, could you explain how exactly this is going to stop me smoking? Yes, Martin. What we're going to take is the cigarette in the beaker and put mm -hmm. it in the machine. The energy pattern of the nicotine is inverted and yes. sent to you via electrodes to neutralize the original pattern. So it's like pattern. fighting the nicotine inside exactly. my body. Yeah. Basically, it's a law of physics. Yeah. A mirror image over the original image will neutralize itself. All matter is comprised of atoms and molecules. Subatomic particles such as electrons and protons by definition give off electromagnetic fields which are very weak. Therefore every substance including the human organism is in essence an information field. If the information fields get disturbed uh, through toxicity, through the remnants of disease and so forth, then there's a repatterning of the um, information in the body and the body starts to adapt to that new patterning, which is why we get things like drug cravings or chronic illness. And the good equipment can then modify the waveforms and indeed collapse the waveforms so that we can take out the unwanted information. Well, I can assure the viewers that these methods are indeed being used by the Russian military for monitoring um, drug addiction on new recruits and taking them off hard drugs. Well, did it work? Our guinea pig, Martin, joins us now, along with Sunday Telegraph journalist Nina Goswani, who's also tried this course. Um, OK, Martin, this was, what, four days ago? Yeah. I haven't had a cigarette since, and i am not even thought about them, really. I'm just... I get very tired at night, and I'm sleeping, like, 12 hours a night, but yeah. no cigarettes at all. You went on a 200-mile car journey. Yeah, usually yesterday. that's a trigger for driving. Uh, driving means yeah, smoke, me cigarette, too. cigarette, cigarette, cigarette. Yeah. Didn't even think about it. Drove all so the you're not fighting the addiction? In the, I mean, you've tried to give up before, it's, haven't it, you? Yeah, you? And it's been it like that. Like like it, it feels like the addiction's gone. It, it, it's, something's missing. And do you feel different in other ways, too? Um, yeah, I feel a lot more healthy, a lot more want to run around. And, but it definitely feels like the addiction before. You know when you take nicotine gum and stuff like that? It's like fighting a monkey on your back. It, it, this feels like it's just been taken away Switched from Switched off. Switched off totally. Well, if, I mean, if it's true that there is a 70 to 90 percent success rate, it would, you, in terms of nicotine patches and gum, um, they, they prove, uh, they're proven to um, only have a 6 percent chance of succeeding. Mm. So this is, this is really massive. Yeah, and house. you're both journalists, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. you did this with an investor. You wanted to give up smoking, but, and, yeah. as you have done for many years, but you wanted to, to approach this with an investigative approach mm -hmm. uh, as personal guinea pigs. And you're absolutely without question that, it's, it, that this is brand new. You've never had this experience before mm -hmm. when you tried to give no. up. Are you thinking about smoking at all? Or is no, it an absence I've, from... I've, it's been a month as of today, yeah. and I haven't wanted once to pick up a cigarette. Well, this is extraordinary, isn't it? So much much so, Savita, that we were, we were kind of, we thought, oh no, this is just, you know, wishful thinking, positive suggestion, that yeah. kind of thing. But we, we checked up with a, with a, a major expert today, Alistair, Alistair who Phillips. explained to us um, he's how of power exactly watch, he? it works. Well, he's Alistair Phillips, he's head of Power Watch, yeah. um, which is an independent organisation with a central role in ec electromagnetic field and microwave radiation research and the health debate. And he said, well, yeah, it looks to me as if it works. He also said that, that we ought to check out its, its effects on children children with eczema with this having remarkable and results. Allergies. And allergies. It's, the clinic here says its results have been impressive. On a bad day, building contractor Graham Goddard would get through 40 cigarettes. He had the treatment a month ago. I don't mind people around me smoking and I don't sort of drift into that like, oh, that smells good, like some smokers do. And I'd love to try that, but I know I can't. But it just, I just don't get that feeling at all. You don't even want a cigarette? No, I don't even want a cigarette, no. No, it just doesn't bother me at 